How you doing guys? Welcome back to another video with InfoSecPat. In this video, what we're going to be doing is installing OpenVOS. It's an open source vulnerability scanner. It's an awesome tool. We're going to be doing this in Kali Linux. And the newest and greatest, latest and greatest is uh, 2020.1. So if you're ready for the video, let's get started. All right, so this is our um, Kali machine and what we're going to be starting off with we're going to be starting off with uh, my favorite app let's uh, go ahead and um, zoom this in a little bit uh, do, 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 do. I have to figure out how to do the new zoom in zoom in here we go all right zoom in again Oop. okay so first things first we're going to do an app dash get update just to make sure all the repositories and everything is updated Oh yeah, again in a new uh, Kali 2020.1, which I'm still getting used to. You always have to, you know, there's no more root user by default, so you have to do the sudo command, and then you have to put your fancy password that you set up when you first install Kali Linux 2020.1. All right, so I'm going to let that do its thing for a second, and once this is done, now we're going to go ahead and start installing OpenVos. The installation from start to finish between installing it and then setting it up, I would say it's approximately, it can be 20 to 35 minutes. It all depends on your internet speed. It all depends on, you know, some, you know, some different factors, but we're going to start off with um, installing it. So let's get started with that. We're going to do app install openvos, openvos. All right, again, I'm addicted it because I just talked about this and I'm, like I said, I'm still getting used to this. So let's go ahead and get that going. I'm gonna make this bigger. Let's see, come on. And let's bring that up here. So we'll let that do its thing. This will probably take a few minutes. Uh, I don't think this will take very long. I haven't installed this on 2020.1. And I haven't actually installed OpenVos in some time. I just posted something on my Instagram today and about like some top uh, InfoSec tools. And someone wrote to me saying, you know, OpenVos was one of them. And like, oh, you know, I would love to learn how to set up a vulnerability assessment manager and doing all that stuff. And I was like, okay, cool. So this morning I was running around doing some errands. It's Saturday morning where I am and I was like, you know, I, when I get home, I can, I just installed 2020.1. I did make a video on that. Um, I just haven't uploaded it, but maybe I'll upload it, you know, maybe today or this weekend sometime or maybe next week, but I'll be uploading this video as well. And, um, you know, it will be a fun little journey to get this up and running to see how, uh, you know, an open source vulnerability assessment scanner is and you know how the setup is and all that stuff and you know there there's some you know some uh some challenges because it's open source so sometimes you get some errors during the setup and i'll show you some of those once it's time to actually do the setup this is just the install and um and some other you know op you know uh vulnerability assessments such as qualis such as uh i was gonna say open boss which we're doing now nessus Rapid Seven. Um, there's a there's a quite a few out there that are pretty you know pretty good. They all have their false positive. They all have their pros and cons. It's just whatever your preference is and what your company runs, right? So I think I did set up um, Nessus in a previous video. It's probably months ago. And for the free community version, if I'm not mistaken, you can run up to twenty um, twenty. Uh, nodes and you can scan up to 20 without you know being charged so and this is open source so this is free 99 for you know you just have to keep it updated you have to you know update the repositories and all that stuff so we'll let that do its thing let me see over here make sure okay so i just wanted to make sure my big head's not in the way and so you can see the whole screen let me do this all right, cool. So, so yeah. So hopefully, you know, I've been, I've been uh, very busy with some personal stuff and some work and 
doing some studying and uh, that's why I haven't made any videos in probably some time, but I wanna catch up and I have a whole list of videos to do, some Cisco stuff, some some more Cali stuff. But you know, it's uh, life sometimes gets in the way, I can say, but um, yeah, so let's let's get this finished. We'll get through this video and we'll have a lot more to, to check out in the near future. Let me zoom in a little bit more. And uh, yeah, so hopefully you guys enjoy this video. Hopefully you guys are doing wonderful. And uh, yeah, I'll, uh, I want to uh, actually pause the video and resume once this part is done. And you know, we'll continue because I don't want to bore you guys and watching this, it's at 46%. So like I said, this can take some time. So I want to at 47 now. Oh. Maybe not. Maybe let's see how this goes. Maybe it was just, maybe it was just uh, catching up. So let's see how far we can get. So we're not going to pause and resume as of right now. And sorry about that. This may take some time. So let's see how long this goes. And if you guys, oh, perfect, it's done. Wow, that was a lot quicker than I thought. So you know, before we get to the next part. And if you guys want to see any videos, specific videos, um, as far as you know, certain Kali tools, certain applications, I've been getting requested for a few on my Instagram, on my social media, and I just write them down and I, I'll get to it when I get to it. I wanna start doing a lot of my videos in 2020.1. Um, so hopefully, you know, I start using this more and getting more used to it with that damn pseudo command. but. Yeah, so now we're going to set it up. All right, so that was just the install. So now let's do open VOS dash setup. Of course, my horse. All right, so now this will go. I was just talking about the pseudo. I'm telling you, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be a few minutes. Um, so yeah, so now this will go through the actual setup process. And during the setup process, what I came to find out on at least 20, uh, 2019.1, 2019.3, those versions of Kali, when I would set up OpenVos to do some, you know, if I was to help a, someone or doing my own little labs and, you know, whatever the case may be, I found that there's sometimes there's errors, right? Remember, this is an open source application. So just be patient. If it has errors, let it do its thing. Once it's finished, you're going to get a username, which probably be admin, and then a password will be some crazy passwords and long password that will just copy that off into a notepad or um, to a Word document, to a text editor, or whatever you want to call it. And once we log into the web portal, we can go in and actually change that crazy password to something that we know. And I'll, I'll show you guys how to do that from you know, from the, you know, from the beginning, getting it up and running. And this video specifically is just setting it up, getting it installed. We'll log into it, we'll change the password and I'll cut the video there just so I don't have an hour long video just setting it up and doing all that stuff. And what we'll do next time, I'll, I'll create a, like a 2008 server because those are, or maybe a 2012 server within that same network and once we're on the same network, what we can do is we can add a node to the vulnerability assessment and we can scan for vulnerabilities. So I think it will be good to do a 2008 server since it's end of life, EOL. And then we can just see, well, I won't patch it, I'll just install it. I won't do the updates and we'll see how vulnerable it is and some stuff like that. Maybe we can run Metasploitable. That's a fully vulnerable um, Linux box. We could throw that on this network and you know go from there and just test away it's a beautiful it's an awesome little tool for free and you can install this on a vm in your network if it's if, if you're like in a corporate big environment you're probably going to use like qualis or nessus something that's bigger and beefier you know better for say um but this is this does a job you know i use this in a lot of my clients you know, back in the day or a client that, you know, when I was working on a specific, you know, 
in-house IT guy and would want to do a vulnerability assessment, I'll load this up and run some scans and just to give me some basic reporting. Or like if it's you know 10 or 20 or less, I'll run Nessus Community Edition just to you know just to play around and you know make sure get a little little report. But right now I work for a cloud company. It's the, probably one of the best companies I can ever work for. And what we use is Qualys, and we have on our different different networks and different clients. We use you know Qualys to run our scans, to run our reports, to send to to our clients, et cetera, et cetera, to make sure they're all patched up. But you know Qualys is a good product as well. I'm not knocking anyone. I'm just saying this video is strictly for if you want an open source vulnerability assessment scanner, go for this one. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So. Right now it says part one, zero done, part one done. Sometimes it'll be part two, part three, part four, and then I'll go back to part zero, part one. I, at least I've seen that in the past. Um, I don't know if they fix anything since then, but I know that there's some quirky things uh, with it sometimes. So, you know, we'll see how this goes as far as how the new setup is in 2020.1 in Cali and the latest and greatest of OpenVos, Greenbone. So we'll let this uh, go on its merry way. And we'll, you know what? I think this part will take a few minutes. So I'm gonna actually, at this time, I'm gonna stop the video and I'll resume once this is all done, okay? Awesome, guys. All right, guys, welcome back. So that process took probably around 15 more minutes. So. This is the full on install. So we'll go back up where I think we left off around, I think it was copying. And then I think it was going through here, part one. And then it, it pretty much went through the process, the cert data, et cetera, et cetera. All transaction, transactions were logged. And you know the community for Greenbone all right, so now, you know, pretty much by default, you know, you agree to the services, blah, blah, blah. And this will all happen. So now this is where the OpenVos service stopped. Then, it'll, you know, we, it was started. Uh, OpenVos started. So we can, um, activation failed. We can go check this in a second. So, like I said, this sometimes is some false positives. Sometimes there is uh, some things we have to do. So it was starting the process, blah, blah, blah. Please wait while it starts. Okay, so now this is where it's important. You might you know, wanna you know, refresh your browser once it opens. I haven't opened any browser. So we're gonna go to this address, 127.001 with colon 92, uh, 9392. That's the port that it runs on. So we can copy this. Okay, co copy link and if we go down here a little bit more, we're gonna see a username and password. Where is it? I just saw it. Uh, maybe it's all the way down. Uh, do, 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 do. All right, right here. So the username, creating admin user, and remember I told you this funky password. This is the password. All right, so let's go ahead and open up a browser. All right, so we can log in and then we'll go about changing this. All right, let's bring this over here. Let's just control A, back that out, control V, let's log in. Um, it will give you a warning because it's a self-signed certificate, so that's fine. So we'll go to advanced, works, we're like accept and uh, we'll accept this. So now it's admin. Let's go back because I don't remember this crazy password. Whoa, copy this, copy section. We'll minimize this now. Look at me. And then we'll paste this password in. Log in. We can save it for now. So bada bing bada boom. So this is the this is it. This is your Greenbone security assistant. So let's go ahead and change the password. Okay. So the way we're gonna do that is we're gonna go to administration, users, and this is the admin user. We'll click on this little wrench, okay? and then new password all right so i'm going to do a new password my fancy password to test it admin that's all good let's paste it 
perfect. Let's go back to dashboard. I want to log out. Okay. And now I'm going to try to log in because remember it saved the old password. So it should not log in. Let's see. Log in. Login failed. Perfect. So now let me put my password I just put in and we should be good. And I can update that. Perfect. So if we go to scans, remember we're not going to do this now. I just wanted to get you guys set up and it online and all that stuff. So that's what we're going to do. So we can just go to this little wrench and we can see all these, you know, scan results and blah, blah, blah. There's nothing on here at the moment because we haven't done anything. Okay. And you can go to configuration, configure targets. And this is where you're going to say, okay, I want to go ahead and configure SMB, ESXi, which is VMware, SNMP, blah, blah, blah. And then we can just go ahead and add targets. And let's see what else. And I think that's going to be it for now. Uh, I don't want to get into too much detail in, in OpenVOS at the moment, but this is getting it up and running and all this good stuff. So let's see, there's no tasks and that's fine. And um, so yeah, this is pretty much, you know, you can just browse around. Um, you can see like CVEs, you know, some, you know, and you can click on some CVEs and see what's out there for the vulnerability and blah, 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 et cetera, et cetera. This is just, I'm just poking around just to, uh, just to show you guys. So yeah, that's pretty much it. So now the next video, I'll make a video of getting this updated, adding some hosts and getting some scans ran and all that stuff. Um, I want to get that lab set up. So hopefully this has been informative for you guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Please like, subscribe, share with your friends and family, whoever would like to watch the video. And if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below or hit me up on social media like you guys always do. And I really appreciate it. Thank you so much and have a wonderful day.